Good morning. All right. I'm drinking my coffee right now. And I figured I would connect with you guys, the viewers, the subscribers, the supporters of this channel. And I feel like, you know, I got to have more real talks with you guys. I'm going to try to do that as opposed to always just uploading PRs. I know the PRs are great. They're exciting for me. Knowing you guys are watching is what fuels me as well to keep climbing the ladder. But I think it's important to uh, do a little more informational talking stuff. Not so much informational, but just let's just connect, right? You get what I'm saying? Let's just connect. So I was thinking while I drink my coffee, let's talk about something that I think is the most important issue with lifting, with strength, with hypertrophy, with the mindset. I think the most important thing. And as you guys know with me, it is a mindset. It is always a mindset. But let's dig a little bit deeper into the mindset. Let's dig a little bit deeper. All right, the mindset, confidence, consistency, so, so important. So then it comes down to when you start to get really serious about lifting and you wanna get maybe a little bigger, or a little stronger, mainly strength. I mean, my channel, it's mainly about strength, okay? Then you start to run into the issue of whether you should hop on gear, people accusing me of not being natty, okay? Let's talk about this whole natty deal and my stance on it. Guys, this is going to be very important. This is a very important talk for a lot of you watching. A lot of you youngsters, too. You're, very, uh, um, you're at a very influential stage of your life. And even the older people in your 20s and maybe your 30s, too. You see it all the time, guys. This is, uh, on YouTube, there's always people talking about, oh, maybe I should jump on this or whatever. You guys, you got to think it through. Don't think about the short term. Okay, and I know it's hard. I get it. I know it's hard because we live in a day and age, we live in a society where you can no longer just go to the gym and be like the strongest dude in the gym. I mean, yeah, you can do that, or you know, maybe there's one guy stronger, whatever. Okay? We live in a society now where you can do something that's awesome. You can easily be the strongest guy in your gym. But then you look online and there's a million people that are stronger. And there's a million people that are way bigger and freaky and all shredded and stuff like that. And it's hard then, right? Because you're trying to stand out. Or especially like if you don't have, uh, if you're, you're not really like, <sighs> you don't have your life figured out yet and you're trying to, you're trying to see like, oh, well maybe, you know, maybe I could be like this guy. You know, maybe I can build my name and my brand off of being like just freaky or the super strong or whatever. You guys got to understand that a lot of these people that you see, a lot of these like even just power lifters or strong men or, or uh, like these bodybuilder guys, like these guys are a dime a dozen, okay? They may be in the spotlight for their, their 15 minutes of fame, but then they're gone. You never hear about a lot of these guys again. So you need to, you can't look at like, oh, look at this guy, you, he, whatever, he's got X amount of followers on Instagram or his channels, whatever, because it's all temporary if you go a drug route, okay? The drugs give it and the drugs take it. That's the biggest thing that you got to understand is that it may, whatever, add 100 pounds to your, your, your bench press, your deadlift, or maybe you'll put 20 pounds of dense mass and you'll be all vascular and shredded but that's not gonna stay okay i feel like a lot of times people get caught up in well maybe if i just do a, a cycle or whatever then um I'll, I'll hold on to some of those gains and then it will all be worth it no you won't okay you know what's gonna happen is you're you're gonna make these gains, these strength gains, or these size gains, and you're either gonna get like, um, like you're gonna break out like acne, or you're gonna get like gynecomastia, or you're gonna get like hair loss. And obviously, not everyone gets that, I don't think. Um, but it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty high chance that you will get one of those. And while you put your gains on, you're like whatever, I can deal with that. But then what happens when you you lose all your gains? You lose your size gains, and you lose your strength gains, and now you're now you're bald. Right? Or now you have gynecomastia. Like, it would be, then you never want to take your shirt off anymore. And then the reason that you hopped on this gear in the first place, and now it's like it, you were here and you're pretty confident with yourself, you want to take it to the next level. You're here, you want to take it to the next level, but all of a sudden now you lost all your gains and you have gyno, and now you're, you have no confidence. Like, you, that's all shattered. Or you take something and then 
you decide to hop off and you lose all your gains and then and we're talking about strength or whatever and now you're 100 pounds weaker than you were when you're on it now what does that do to your mindset okay now you're just you're suffering this turmoil within your mind of like <laughs> now you're so dependent on a drug okay and that's how people get addicted with stuff is they can't they 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 they're okay with one spot they want to take to the next level now they experience what it's like to be like that big and jacked and cut up or that strong so now they can't possibly live with themselves if they're not where they were at some point so then it's just this vicious cycle okay you got to think about that don't just think about the short term oh i might get some more instagram followers and whatever i'll be the i'll be the what are people i want to be a lion i'd rather i'd rather be a lion for 50 years than a sheep for 100 years that's the dumbest thing that is the dumbest logic that is childish logic because why not be super consistent okay uh yeah maybe you're you're here right now maybe you can't just explode with your strength or your size gains but you're here right now and you're going to and, and everyone else is about here right so you're a little bit better than everyone as it is right now so you could be that way for the next 50 60 years okay like for personally for me i want to be the guy that's 70 80 years old that i still look the same that i do now that i'm you know i'm just as strong as i am now there's no reason that that should be that should not be the case like i don't look any different than i did six seven years ago okay when i really tried to like bulk up i look exactly the same basically and i'm cool with that because when i still go everywhere people still consider me a pretty big dude right like i still have like a lot bigger arms than everyone you know i'm, I'm still like i'm leaner than everyone for the, not everyone but you get you get what i'm saying like to the common man i don't need to be a freak okay freaks dime a dozen okay you're either gonna be reliant on being on uh, drugs and then you're going to die an early death okay or you're going to be on you're going to be a freak and then something's going to force you to be off or you're just going to mature mentally and you're going to be like this isn't worth it you're going to get off and then you're going to be 100 pounds lighter i mean like look at some of the bodybuilders like the the during their height of their bodybuilding career and then after how do you think they feel mentally for real like some 300 pound mass monster and then he just gets off of everything because of some heart condition or kidney condition or liver or something and now all of a sudden he's 180 pounds doesn't even look like he lifts how do you think that feels that is the stuff to consider when thinking about well maybe i'll take it to the next level just to get a little bigger maybe i'll get a little stronger like it'll be fun hey maybe it'll be fun when you're on but what's going to happen once you get off because you can't stay on forever and then of course i know people are going to be like well there's a trt route the t yes you can't compare that you can't compare that to the people that are blasting. That's the whole idea in the first place. Like, look at someone that has low testosterone naturally versus high testosterone naturally. Like, obviously, that's not nearly the difference as being whatever normal testosterone levels and then, like, blasting chemicals. But still, low testosterone, people feel like crap, right? They have, like, no libido. They, they're always tired and fatigued. And then, like, normal, higher levels of normal testosterone they're more energetic right they feel they got healthy libido healthy drive so look at the difference that that makes now all of a sudden you increase that a hundredfold or whatever craziness people do and then how do you think they go from feeling like oh so so to feeling just indestructible like a like a tank and then but you can't you can't keep it that so that's what you guys got to think about you can't ever go back it's the Pandora's box. You can't ever go back. So everything that you do in terms of your strength training and or your for your hypertrophy, you have to approach it as, is this going to be sustainable for the rest of my life? Because everything you do for like fitness, okay, that you need to look at that as from now until the rest of your life. Because there should be no reason that you're tra strength training now, or you're doing your cardio, but you're not going to do that when you're 50, 60, 70, right? You're, it's, it's a lifestyle same thing with eating okay you're not going to eat now and then all of a sudden start eating dominoes when you're 70 years old you know, good habits start now so as i was saying now i'm not even drinking my coffee you guys are distracting me so i just wanted to throw that message out there for you guys now let's get after this let's drink some coffee because this is something that you can do for the rest of your life right enjoy enjoy some coffee now maybe drinking a pot of coffee maybe that's too much maybe that's not enough then maybe it's not too much i think it depends okay but personally i enjoy my coffee and if this is my only vice then hey at least i got some antioxidants at least it helps with your uh 
your brain function and all that good stuff too. I'm okay with drinking some very high quality coffee every day. Some tips for you guys, a little bro talk, bro to bro. Leave some comments on what you guys think. I know some of you guys are gonna be pretty uh, upset with this because my channel, ultimately it's for extremes, right? Extreme strength and extreme results with doing whatever experiments and stuff, but that is how I feel on the subject too. So people that are accusing me of that, accusing me of gear and all that, I think most of you guys know that's not the case, but hey, you can accuse me all you want, but you'll see that I'm always consistent. I'm never exploding, dropping down, breaking out or whatever. I right we're good. We're good, guys. So the strength gains and all that, that'll fluctuate, but the beautiful thing is the strength comes back if it is natural. All right, stick with the natural route, and that's what's gonna keep your mindset strong and keep the confidence and keep you hungry for the next level because you know you can.